Welcome to the Mesa Solar Car Project. You will be provided with the following components to build your project. These will include a solar panel with two leads or wires, a battery adapter, again, with two leads, a small engine, which will be powered from the solar panel or batteries, an on-off switch, two axles, four wheels, and two AA batteries. Please also note that rules change year to year, and you are responsible for staying up to date on these changes. It is strongly recommended that you test all of your components before building your car. It becomes problematic if you build a car first and discover later that one or more of the components are not working. Let's begin with the battery adapter. You will have to use this should weather become a factor on your competition day. It is your backup to the solar panel. First, look over the adapter and become familiar with the parts. There is the body, which holds, depending on what is provided, one or two AA batteries. There are two leads or wires coming out of the adapter. One is red, the other is black. Of special concern is the on-off switch. You may not notice it at first. It is a silver metal tab, which you can lift up and down. In the down position, it connects power from the batteries and sends it from there through the leads to the engine. In the up position, there is no contact and no power is provided. Before inserting batteries, lift the tab into the off position, lift it up. Now insert the batteries. You will at first temporarily hook your leads to the two tabs on the engine. Later, you may wish to solder them to make this more permanent so they do not come off. Once you have the batteries inserted and the leads attached to the engine, turn on the battery adapter. You should immediately feel the engine rev up and see the drive shaft spinning. Now you know these components work. If for any reason they do not, you will need to troubleshoot to discover the problem. It could be a poor hookup, attaching the adapter to the engine, or something else. More on that later. Turn off the adapter. If you do not, and the two leads come into contact with each other after you take them off the engine, you will short out the adapter and have potential for a spark or heat to cause a fire. The solar panel converts energy from the sun into photovoltaic power, which also runs the engine. You must have direct sunlight on a clear day for this to work. Attach the leads from the panel to the engine, just as you did with the battery adapter. Now step outside and holding your panel, direct it at the sun. You may have to angle it to match where the sun is in the sky to get the most power. Keep this in mind when you build your actual car. Build the framework holding the panel so it can be adjusted to be directed where the sun will be on the day and time of your competition. Congratulations if you were able to power the engine with both of your sources. You may now begin to design and build your car. MESA is meant to support your efforts in diagnosing and solving problems, and this is a great learning opportunity for you. Problems are meant to be solved, and logic is a great way to work through each step of the problem. Here's an example. A frequently asked question might be, why isn't my power source working with the engine? The answer? You may not be getting full contact between the power source and the engine. This could be frayed leads on the wire, which means only a few of the many tiny wires in your lead wire are contacting directly with the terminals on the engine, or something else. Your batteries may be bad. Your solar panel may be flawed or broken. You will need to work through each step to see where the problem actually lies. Suggestion for MESA leaders. Build a project kit for your team consisting of the following. Have a box with dividers in it that keeps all of the components for the solar project in separate areas. This way students can find what they need quickly and you can assess whether you need to order more parts. Have a toolkit with some simple tools in it such as wire strippers, box cutters, needle nose pliers, a small vise that will help them hold items being worked on, and a soldering gun and wire.
I also include miscellaneous items to challenge and inspire creativity, such as airplane propellers, balsa wood, small gears, and other items. You can make your own.